Well hello there Skywinders, welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode we're going to be looking at this. This right here is this watch. It doesn't really have a brand as you can see. It's unbranded but I'm going to show you the web page where I got it from which is this right here. Okay so this is it right here as you can see. Um, it's $1.99 so $2 let's just say $2 so that's the white one right there that's the blue one that's the red one that's the brown one and then that's the light blue and that's it so what it does is basically this is it, this is sort of like a speedometer on a vehicle as you can see this is the dash screen so it has the um, miles on the bottom or kilometers depending on where you live and this would be the speedometer and this would be the um, revolutions per minute right here would be the temperature no this would be the temperature and this would be the gas tank so it's based on a, a vehicle dashboard and it, what it does is just show you the date so let me turn off the lights okay so the lights are off so f um, for the most part the lights are off I still have one lap on so anyway this is how it looks like so you can press this button right here and that'll tell you the time for example right now So let's look at that again. If you want to know the time, you have to press this key right here and this will come up. And the top part is the hour and the bottom part is the minutes. For example, right now it's um it says 6 on the top. So that's 6 and there has a PM right here. Let me zoom in. Maybe it'll help. Okay, there we go. Well, you still can't see it, but you can take my word for it. The top one has the all the way to 6, so that's 6 p.m. And the bottom, it'll say 1, 2, 3, and then it'll have those numbers right there. So the bottom says, um, it says all the way to 50, and then that's the digits right here. So it's 6, 50, and then 1, 2, 3, so that's 53 and now these these are numbers I know it looks like blocks on the screen so now it's um 654 it just looks like blocks I know you can't see and I'm trying to focus there we go so when you press it well you can't really see it on the maybe if I change the lighting There we go. So that's it right there. 654. So the top part changes by increments. So it says 20, 25, 30, 35. So for example, if it said on the bottom, if it says if if it lights up all the way to 25 and here you got 3, it'll be 25 plus 3 that means 28. So let's set the time. So to set the time, let me turn off the lights. To set the time, you have to press over here, press it once and then press and hold. And then you got this flashing. So you have a choice of 1 through 12. So let's say it's 2 p.m. Let's say it's 3 p.m. Then press right here and now select the minutes. So let's pretend it's um right now let's say it's um... let's say it's 27 so you have to go all the way to that says 15 so that's 20 so go to 25 right there 26 27 so now you select the date let's say it's July let's leave it at that 
and now the day we want to do let's say 30 so there we go Thir let's say 31 so 31 is right there press enter and now the day of the week it could be Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday let's leave it at Thursday and now we have the um, the light intensity so this is brighter 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 and this is dim so let's leave it at 4 and then you have this last thing I don't even know what that is oh, okay okay this is the duration so let's um this is gonna last 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds. Let's leave it at 30 seconds. And there we are. So it is 328. So that is very, very interesting. So you press over here. So there you have it. 328. So if you press the top once and press it again, it'll tell you the date. It says it's July 31st. That's the date. And the week is the day number five. So that's um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Day number five is Thursday. and that's it so right now it's 329 so that's very very interesting so let's go outside and let's see how it looks like outdoors let's go okay folks so we are outdoors as you can see the sun is still out so we do want to see if this is going to light up outdoors so the answer is yes it is visible to the naked eye maybe not so much on the camera but let's go to the road and let's see how that works okay so I'm sitting on the curve and let's see if I can still tell the time and the answer is yes 332 so let's get in direct sunlight and see if it'll um, be visible in direct sunlight okay so you're gonna have to trust me on this I can't capture it on camera but let me take it off So let's see. Yeah, you can still tell. 333. Let's do that again. 333. Okay, so let's go for a walk. And this is where I live, by the way. It's a very quiet place right now. And definitely this is a beautiful watch as you can see it is as good as you see it on camera as it is in real life and super super comfortable very light of course it's battery operated I don't know what kind of battery it has I haven't test I haven't opened it yet but like I said it is very light it does not have alarm so if that's something you need or a timer or anything like that it does not have that um, also it's not you can't read the time unless you push that button because it doesn't want to uh, since it's light up it won't drain the battery that way so in that sense um, it might be an issue for some people but do I recommend it yes I do recommend it 100% so, but you have to keep that in mind. It's not utilitarian. It's hard to read and you have to press the button for it to work. And I'm guessing that the battery is going to drain fairly fast. 
so it's just like it's just like a toy for grown-ups so either way thank you for watching subscribe and thumbs up